everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I thought I would talk about my first trimester, my symptoms, everything I went through, how I found it, just because I went to go and watch a lot of these when I was like six weeks pregnant and just about to start my first trimester. Well, I was in the first trimester, but I just found out um, that I was expecting and they really helped me and I felt like it was a place where I could relate to what people were saying and also it makes you hopeful because you know that after the first trimester's done it does get better i just want to put like a trigger warning or whatever that i will be talking about pregnancy i will be talking about being sick so if you have like a metaphobia or anything this probably isn't the best video to watch um but come back for some more videos and yeah just so that i don't trigger anybody because that would not be a good thing to do um yeah I'm just gonna talk about week by week my symptoms how I found it whether it got better whether it got worse I'm not gonna lie the first trimester was rough I was not expecting it to be as bad as it is or was I mean I'm out of it now <laughs> on my phone I wrote down week by week what I experienced what happened um just so that you know we could all chat about it together and I could film this video and I feel like it'll be really nice to look back on once the baby's here like how I found the first trimester compared to the second and then the third um so the first symptoms that I got which I've been asked a lot on TikTok what my first symptoms were obviously I missed my period so very clearly a sign that you might be pregnant and then my boobs were very sore and they changed shape like even my boyfriend could notice that my boobs had changed shape um and yeah just to touch they were really sore but I thought that my boobs being sore was just from like PMS like right before I usually get my period my boobs are quite sore so I thought it was just like that but it was worse than it normally is um so then I decided to take a pregnancy test and it came up positive pretty much instantly like I did not have to wait that two minutes that they tell you to wait it just the second line just came up and I was like okay go you're pregnant so they were like my first symptoms then I found out I was pregnant I was five weeks when I found out that I was pregnant I think I had missed my period like I was like four days after missing my period so I know some people miss their periods um and it's quite normal for them but for me I'm 28 days on the dot so I knew something was up with my body and something was happening um so then let's talk about at five and six weeks I started being sensitive to smells super sensitive to smells like everything and anything would make me smell to the point that I would make my boyfriend use my shower gel and like my hair wash and stuff because that scent was like putting me off it was just like really strong to me um super sensitive to smells especially food smells as well like the smell of cooked food was not the one the other thing that i got was constipation like really badly and verging on painful like i just could not poo i know this is a bit tmi but that's what we're here for ladies um yeah i got constipation quite bad and to be honest that carried on throughout the whole of my trimester probably still now I think it's just a symptom of pregnancy but I didn't expect it didn't realize that constipation was a symptom of pregnancy so I was like what is going on feeling sick but not actually being sick at this point so I would feel really nauseous I would feel like I'm gonna be sick but I was never sick in them early stages they call it morning sickness right it's not just in the morning though is it this is what they don't tell you it's not like oh you get to midday and you feel better it's like all day sickness but mine was particularly worse in the evenings if i was overtired or um i just had had a long day i was really really like sick in the evenings not actually being sick yet though then another thing that i had which actually did carry on for like the first trimester was being anxious i feel like quite a lot of women might relate to this but i was super duper anxious just about um like miscarrying i really didn't want that to happen not that anybody wants that to happen obviously um so i was just super concerned and i really wanted to be able to see 
the baby and check that they were healthy and everything um so yeah i felt quite anxious within that first trimester which has kind of eased now i probably should have said that i'm currently at 15 and a half weeks so i'm well out of the first trimester now now on to week eight um it says week eight exactly was actually sick for the first time in brackets i've put pasta sick wow Maisie I don't know if we needed that much detail um so I actually remember this night it was horrendous I was not feeling the best so I obviously run my own business for those of you that don't know I am a small business owner and I was working in the evening super late because I had quite a lot to do and I was just packing orders I didn't feel too tired so I just carried on and then it got to about half past 11 and everything that I'd eaten from my dinner and pretty much from my lunch and I'd had a hot chocolate just all came up and it was the first time I'd been sick so it really shocked me and I was just I remember crying <laughs> I literally I literally was in the kitchen I tried facetiming my boyfriend and I was like in tears because I just couldn't cope you know that first sh initial shock and then afterwards I just got used to being sick um and I'm not really like a sicky person like I never really get ill where I'm sick but yeah my body just did not want that pasta in me the baby they weren't wanting the pasta so um yeah at eight weeks exactly I was actually sick and then came weeing weeing so often i honestly before being pregnant could hold on to a wee for so long like probably it was probably quite bad how long i could hold on to a wee for now i literally need to go for a wee every few hours if not every hour and clearly at eight weeks that started because i've put needing a wee every hour and through the night so i would find that i would go to the toilet about midnight and I could only sleep until eight until I needed to get up for the toilet I know that's only going to get worse um that's currently what it's like at the moment but as baby girl or boy gets bigger I know that just more pressure gets put on your bladder so can't wait for that one to be weeing even more often eight weeks was also really exciting because at eight weeks and three days we went for a private scan um i decided to pay for a private scan for charlie's valentine's day present i basically couldn't decide what to get him for valentine's day and i was like do you know what he would love to see the baby we i would say we were both feeling quite anxious so we just both just like wanted to get it checked and everything um and i was told at my eight week scan private scan i was meant to be eight weeks and three days i was told that I was around eight weeks and five days. So all of my due dates and the dates that I thought I was matched up perfectly. Um, and when we went to that scan, everything was healthy. We saw the heartbeat, which was incredible. I'll try and put a little video here of the heartbeat. They were only, I think the baby was only like two centimeters. So you can't like see a head or anything. You can just see like a tiny little bean. Um, but I literally started bawling. I was in tears um, when we first saw it. I think it was more relief because, like I said, I was quite anxious. I was just relieved that everything was okay. Um, in that scan, she tried to look at my ovaries as well. I don't know why I'm doing this. This is my impression of the um, scanner thing. Um, she tried to look at my ovaries. She couldn't see them. And she was like, have you been feeling quite gassy? And I was like, yes extremely constipated and gassy um are like the two symptoms that are annoying me and she was like yeah i can tell because where like if you weren't as gassy i might be able to see your ovaries they couldn't see mine because it was just black um but she said that was nothing to worry about and i checked with my nhs midwife and she was like it's nothing to worry about at all um it's just a symptom of pregnancy so that was all good we were super happy again it actually meant that i felt more comfortable to tell a few more people we didn't tell um everybody until 12 weeks but we told like a few closer family members like my dad um when after we'd had that scan at about nine weeks we're on to week nine i've put the worst day being sick sore throat can barely eat mm, i don't remember this <laughs> it's funny what you forget isn't it 
Oh. Oh my goodness, no, I do remember this. That was week nine. Okay, week nine was the worst week by far. It was awful. When I say I can't remember it, it's because I haven't written how bad it was. I would say that I was pretty much bed bound for two days within week nine. I would be sick in the morning. There was nothing to come up. So it's just like stomach bile, stomach acid. Um, and it wasn't the type of sick where it could have been prevented like I couldn't have just laid back down or like rested and I wouldn't have been sick it was gonna come whatever so I just had to let it um and everything I ate I would just throw up um even like water and stuff was really hard to digest so I was feeling super low super down obviously none of my friends knew that I was pregnant so that was hard because it's like oh why are you so ill oh I don't know <laughs> just growing a whole human that I can't tell you about um so yeah I think I found week nine probably the most mentally draining of them all because I felt the most ill and I just couldn't eat anything couldn't keep anything down I couldn't work um which really affected me because I love working I love my job and I had well I had no energy and I had no motivation because I couldn't get up I also had a cold that week now I don't know if it was actually a cold I did a few tests and I didn't have COVID but my boyfriend tested positive for COVID the week after I had this cold um, it was quite bad like my nose wouldn't stop um, dripping is that a word don't know my nose wouldn't stop running that's the right word um, and my ears were blocked um, and it was worse than like a normal cold so I don't actually know if it was COVID because he had COVID the week after and I spent the whole week with him. We didn't realise he had COVID till the end of the week. And then the week after that, I didn't catch it. So I don't know if I actually gave it to him. I was doing tests, but maybe my tests didn't come out positive. Um, I don't know. And then it says that I went to the doctors for routine blood tests. Yes, okay, I remember this. So you have your eight week midwife appointment mine was on the phone and then i had to go for some blood tests i think it's just so they can check like your bloods i guess and just check that you're healthy so i did a urine sample that was fine all clear and then i went to go and get my bloods done they weighed me when i got my bloods done i'm not gonna lie it wasn't the best experience but it wasn't the worst experience the midwives made me feel totally comfortable um i wasn't waiting that long but i also wasn't feeling very well because i had that cold that i wasn't testing positive for covid it was just a cold um and i wore my mask and everything but basically what happened was they couldn't get blood out of me they tried like three times at this hospital that i went to to get blood out they couldn't so they sent me to another hospital so that was just a bit of a pain to be honest because i ended up being at the doctors for like one and a half hours just to get some blood out of me um but that was reoccurring and it's probably gonna be for the rest of my pregnancy for some reason um my veins are just small like the person that did my bloods last said your veins are literally as small as like a small child so they just struggle like everybody struggles to get blood out of me it also says here that i've also put that i went to the gym for the first time so at the end of week nine i was clearly feeling a bit better but i remember going to the gym and just thinking this is absolutely awful because like the smell of like sweat and everything was not the one being pregnant and then we go into week 10. So week 10, I said, starting to feel a lot better. Um, I could do work like normal, which was really good because I was worried that I was gonna get behind with work, especially because a lot of my job involves being on TikTok and like filming stuff. But when you're ill, you don't wanna get ready and film stuff. And then I told one of my best friends that I was expecting, which, was definitely one of the highlights of my pregnancy so far i told my friend tatiana first um purely just because she was back from uni and i knew that i had to tell her before she went back um because i wanted to try and tell as many people to their face that i could um and yeah i was super like happy um she was happy she literally cried if you've seen on my tiktok or i'll post a I'm gonna post another video of like all of my family's reactions. Um, 
yeah if you're seeing that she literally cried and she was so happy for me bless her she will be the best auntie to my tiny little baby um and then i've just put still nauseous at certain smells so certain smells weren't triggering me as much other smells like cooked food uh, still not the best smell um and then yeah other certain stuff it's really weird because i can't really pinpoint until the day what's gonna make me feel sick um it would vary from day to day week 11 was a short one because i put started to feel better still smell of foods so clearly smell of foods was still bothering me now we're on to week 12 which i think is the end of the first trimester if not week 13 is um but i'm gonna do week 12 and 13 in the same section because um why not week 12 of course you get to go for your 12 week scan which is the most exciting thing and you're also thinking that you're coming out of the first trimester so if you have been feeling sick you think that you're gonna feel a lot less sick which is the case for most people um obviously we got to go to our 12 week scan the nhs one they gave us our official due date which is at the end of september and we were just so happy because we could see baby girl or boys um like we could actually see their body and like their head and their little feet um and it was just super cute it was i would say to be fair after going for a private scan and then an nhs scan i would say that the nhs scan was a lot shorter like i didn't realize how much shorter it would be probably like five minutes long maybe a bit more maybe it just went shorter because I was enjoying it and that everything was okay obviously relieved a lot of anxiety that i still had um and i was still feeling nauseous and i was still throwing up which was great because i thought oh, made it to 12 weeks i'm gonna feel better immediately no that was not the case week 13 uh still nauseous and still throwing up week 14 i know this is the second trimester now like week 14 week 14 I was still being sick so that was literally last week i was still being sick it's not until like the last couple of days where i've actually been feeling better that is my first trimester experience i know not all of it is positive but i hope some of you can relate to the symptoms that i'm feeling and feel reassured that it's totally normal um and also to say that it's actually been not that it's been good because nobody likes feeling sick but i've just felt really grateful that my body can carry like another human i feel like i'm i just feel blessed to be able to carry this little baby as for overall body changes my stomach has grown my boobs have grown i haven't seen any stretch marks or anything yet but i'm sure they're to come um and I'm just embracing all of the body changes because it's completely natural. So I hope you did enjoy this first trimester experience video. Let me know if you want to see the second trimester and then the third. Um, because I really enjoyed filming it. And I also think it will be really good to look back on. That's it for now. So I will see you all soon.